Devnarg Brengar. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Devnarg and Brengar, where I spin around with big, giant laser hands of death. I have a laser hand of death. Zap. No, you don't. See, look. Zap. Oh, good for you. You have a tiny little poof. Like a little static electricity buildup. <laughs> You're like sliding your feet on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, speaking of which, Brennan and I used to clean airplanes for a living. Ah, yes. And, um... And one of our many awesome jobs we've had. Yes. I love... I think that might be my favorite job. Because it was so simple. Like, you didn't have to deal with customers or anything like that. You just... Our boss would be like, Alright, boys, you're cleaning this airplane today. Top to bottom. Get to it. And that would be it. And, uh... Ooh. And so... Part of our job was to polish the... The, um, chrome edges of the wings and we would have to lay down these giant um, plastic mats because like the polish would kind of fly everywhere and get everything all dusty and stuff so we, we would lay down these giant plastic mats and I mean gigantic they had to span the entire wingspan of the airplane and, uh, and these were private jets by the way kind of small um, it's not like a Boeing 747 no, or no, something no, no. And, but, uh, I mean, they're not tiny either. Some of these were full-size private jets. I, oh, I, I don't oh, yeah. have names to... I don't remember any jet names, though. Um, the, um, like a Must the Mustang was one of the smallest ones we yeah. worked on. Um, but, uh, anywho. So we'd polish it up, and all the nastiness would get all over the plastic mats, and we would have to peel them off the ground when we were done. And so we'd each get on one side of the airplane and start peeling them up and meet in the middle. And it was just... And by the time we got to each other, like, our hair was sticking, like, straight out. Straight up. Because you're in a giant hangar. <laughs> yeah, and we always had to discharge the, the static buildup somehow. And so we would always just, like, touch each other or do something. Yeah. And the static, it was like an explosion. Oh, you, you, it wasn't just like, you know, how you see the tiny little <laughs> bolt come out of your finger when you shock somebody. This was like a... Boom! Oh, and it was, it was agonizing every time. But it was it was so much fun to do it to each <laughs> yeah. other because we were like, oh my gosh, that guy's <laughs> full of static. Yeah. I couldn't figure out how to like discharge it without using myself somehow. Yeah. I don't know if it's, if it's even possible. And it was, it was just it like it felt like it rattled my bones every time it happened. <laughs> it was yeah. terrifying, but it was it was fun. What about this room? This room. Is that a roomy room? I don't know, it's a room. Yeah, that was great. Missed those days. Oh man, that was fun. My, my favorite job that we both had, though, was being a lifeguard. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed being a lifeguard. At a uh, swim, like a water park in Arizona. Yeah. Yep, so it, um, I don't mean to sound snooty or anything. But, like, it wasn't just a little pool at a hotel or anything. It was, like, we had to be on our toes. It was a toes. major water park. Yeah. The biggest water park in Arizona, as far as I know. Yeah. We had to be on our toes constantly. And, in fact, our supervisors, to make sure we were on our toes, would drill us. Like, they'd have, they'd take off-duty lifeguards and make them go pretend like they were drowning. And we'd have to save them, you know. And this is while the park's open. There's other people. Yeah. Just to make sure that we're ready for anything. Right. And it, um, so it was kind of stressful, but I never had to, um, give anybody mouth to mouth or anything, but there were a few times I had to pull somebody out of the pool because they just, like, didn't know how to swim for some reason. I don't know why you would go to a water park and not be able to swim. So, actually, story time, why not? Oh, I see where we're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. My gosh. Are these, like, randomly generated places yeah, or something? Yeah, they are. Yeah, random. Mm -hmm. So you can play the game every time and get a little bit different experience. Yep, which I like. It's fun. Anyway, um, so this one time, so in Arizona, we get these massive dust storms. I don't know what they're called, but we all call them haboobs. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's really their name or not, but anyway. Um, they're these massive dust storms, and sometimes they are insane. Like, you can see them coming, and it is just a wall of dust. Mm -hmm. Um... Like you would think would be like in the Sahara Desert, you know, on the movie The Mummy. Yeah, yeah. like that stuff happens in Arizona. It's really not as far-fetched as you think. Except no face in the wall of dust. Usually. <laughs> if there is, then you should probably call your doctor. 
<laughs> You're probably he, schizophrenic. He, he can't get a face. Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> Like how it is, is he a magic doctor? No, you, mummy slayer. You, you need help. <laughs> oh. Um, but anyway, so we had one of those come through while I was while we were lifeguards. I feel like that's a place to go. It looks cool. Anyway, um, one of them came through while we're lifeguards, and they closed the pool for a little bit because it was so bad, like you couldn't even see, and they wanted to make sure that nobody was gonna drown and stuff. Well, when they reopen the pool, I come down and I sit in my spot, and uh, my supervisor's standing next to me. And I lean over to my supervisor, and I'm like, So, this pool is so thick with mud. <laughs> I mean, it was, because you just had a dust storm come through. Uh -huh. I'm like, they need to allow the uh, the pool filters to work a little bit, because I can't see down to the bottom of this. Like, somebody, um, and I, this, I literally said, I was like, some little kid could be sitting at the bottom of this pool drowned, and I would not be able to see it. And that's really bad for a lifeguard. No, of course. Because, I mean, you have to be able to see everything at all times. Well, it just so happens that they had decided to drill me right then. And so the fact that I said that and saved my butt. <laughs> and by drill me, he means test him, okay? Yeah, that, I mean, we, they were called lifeguard drills. Yeah, right. They, they were just giving me a drill. I don't know why that's so far-fetched. Uh, well, that's no, a normal term. I just, I'm sorry, my mind's a little dirty today. <laughs> gotcha. Anyway. They, they, I'm just making sure that people understand. <laughs> they were giving me a lifeguard drill. Okay. And, um... He means a test, not actually a drill that lifeguards <laughs> use to... <laughs> just shut up! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, but while... So, that's why she was standing next to me, and I didn't know that. And so, um... Finally, like, another one of the supervisors comes over and he's like, well, you failed the test. You couldn't see the, uh, the little, uh, because they have, like, a baby doll that they dress in a red swimsuit. Mm -hmm. And they put in the bottom of the pool. Yeah. And they're like, you didn't see the little baby doll that we put at the bottom of the pool. And I'm like, well, no, duh. Yeah. And the other, uh, leader's like, actually, he just said that there would be no way to see it if you wanted to. And that we have the pool opened illegally right now, so there's nothing we can do about it. And so they had to close it. That is, it is so good that you said something. Oh, seriously. And I just leaned over and I'm like, I'm, I was like, I'm really disappointed that you guys have left this pool open. Like, I was honestly a little upset by it. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, if somebody was drowned in the bottom of this pool, I wouldn't be able to see them. And that's exactly why <laughs> she was there, was because they were quizzing me on oh that. Oh my gosh. What idiots? Why would they? Why would they do that? I, I don't know. It, it was so rude. I honestly was thinking, like, can't they notice that they can't see mm -hmm. the baby at the bottom of the pool either? I mean, they're standing right next to me. Yeah, they threw it in. They should be able to. But they didn't say anything. They might have actually seen it. I mean, it wasn't totally impossible. Uh huh. But the pool was so thick, I really couldn't see it. And they might have only been able to see it because they saw it get put there. You know. Mm hmm. But, yeah, uh, it didn't, I didn't get any marks against me or anything. They were just like, because I worked hard. I mean, it's not like I was slacking off or something. I was really looking. I was trying to, trying to do my job right, you know. Uh, did you ever fail a drill? Fail? Mm -hmm. I didn't. I don't think I did either. Except for that one, but it didn't count. Yeah. You think yeah. you did? Is that you said? I, I, I don't think I ever did. Any uh, people who did. It's because, I mean, they, they quiz you in some weird ways. Like, if you think about, like, how a real person drowning would be, I mean, there would be some yelling, and usually it's pretty noticeable that something's wrong yeah. right away. But they'll, like, go... They'll send somebody in the pool and make it look like they're just on their break or something and just swimming, uh, which you could do, uh -huh. you know? And then, um... All of a sudden, uh... That person like, sneaks this little baby doll, like, into a corner where you can't see. So sometimes it was it was pretty tricky. Uh-huh. Or they would try to, like, sneak into the pool and then go belly up and try to pretend like they were drowning yeah. or something. It was just what they were trying to test you on. Uh-huh. Like, are they trying to test you on, like, how quickly you can find somebody, or are they trying to test yeah. you on your actual skills? Yeah, and a lot of times, um... Actually, most of the time, you could see people um, 
like off duty lifeguards like going past you and up to the top of the slide, you know. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, if you were paying attention, you, you, could, you knew that it, you was knew it was coming. Yeah. There was one time. Uh, I guess I can tell that next time. Oh. But yeah, we have oh. we have plenty of stories to tell, Patience. which are just so exciting that we know. You guys are all super excited to hear about a couple of idiot lifeguards. <laughs> See you next time. Woohoo!